Get out of here. Come on. Listen to the speed of those kicks. Sounds like a machine gun, man. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and you're good to go. We're looking at a brand new band on the channel. Uh, their name is Era. The song is called Snowblood. It seems to be doing the rounds and I want to see what all the hype is about. I don't know anything about the band other than they've been around from 2009. They're from Birmingham, Alabama, and they're described as progressive metalcore. Can't wait. Let's dive in straight away. Era, Snowblood. Let's see what you got. Hang on, easy, easy, easy. We're going back to the beginning. That was cool. Started out a bit spacey, a bit, um, bit synthy, a lot of kind of like busyness in that progression it was playing, but there are root notes that you can latch onto that don't change. And there's some variables that kind of shift in between that. So really nice when the drums came in, quick kind of like a beat tempo, um, you know, very short placement between the snare hits. And then I heard it break down and kind of go half time, which I thought was sick. Um, and the guitar kind of took over from that synth bit in that. I think it, um, you could hear a lot of busyness. I'm not sure if it was playing the exact same uh, lead work or if it's changed slightly, but it was definitely very busy. Um, intense start to the song, but there was kind of like a synth piece drifting over the top when the, um, when the band came in. So it'd be good to hear that again and see where the placement was. You can hear a lot of that busyness kind of shine through when the drums slow down and there's bigger gaps between the music it's easier to hear there was another piece of guitar work that was doing kind of like almost sound like trim picking but it was gliding up the neck had a bit of a spacey effect on as well there's a lot going on here this must have been loads of layers in studio but um yeah it's 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 got it's got energy Okay, so there is a lot going on there. Definitely the prog element coming through. Uh, there are choices that bands can make when they go into a piece that is vocal dominated. And a lot of those choices often result in the music taking a back seat. It becomes simplified, it becomes um, a little easier so that the vocals can shine through. And I like that this didn't. In fact, it did the opposite. There was a lot of nice harmonic work in there, a lot of hammer-ons, pull-offs, some tapping I can see. I didn't hear the tapping, but I did see it. Um, and hammer-ons and pull-offs are just kind of where you hit a string and then you allow your finger to either hammer on so it's uh, or actually tweak and pull off so you get that volume increase again. Uh, a lot of technical playing going on here, and that's probably an understatement, but I like to scream in there as well. Um, I grew up as a core cool kid, so like that sits well with me. Um, I'm going to go back one more there just to like kind of let it lead in. I liked how it was a cycle. Those like kind of harmonics and higher pieces you were hearing uh, were every second cycle. And then there was a bit more complexity with the thicker strings. This is intense. Um, I want to see what they do with the chorus. Okay, okay, wow, um, great chorus. Definitely, you know, definitely that signature um, metalcore sound, if you will, uh, with the clean vocals there. What I really liked is what quite often you see the guy who's doing the screaming, kind of the main vocalist, if you will, or one of the main vocalists. When it goes into a piece that has 
clean vocals from another singer, what you'll see is that guy does the screaming, he'll continue screaming. So he'll provide energy and pace in that song and, and kind of effort in the chorus uh, in background screaming. He didn't. He went into a clean vocal and it felt really well supported and balanced. I liked that a lot. It was like a call and answer kind of thing going on with the vocals. Um, he's got a cool voice. It's like, sounds like it's just bordering on the edge of straining so I can still hear all of it, but there's like a power to it. I like it. Get out of here. Come on, man. Um, that is like, I don't actually know how they create that sound. One way of doing it is like digital skipping and you can create that uh, through either intense editing or a couple um, couple plugins. But it's very, very cool that um, it sounds disrupted. It sounds, I think because the song's been so busy and the intricacy and the guitar work, it actually fits. I think if, if the song was a little bit more sim simplistic, that may have stood out and jarred a little too hard, but I really like that. That's cool there. And again, freshen up the next verse, freshen up that piece that you heard before to give it something new and move along in a direction. It's very cool. That breakdown is sick. I want to hear that again for sure. Uh, the kick on the kick work from this drum is insane. Um, the backing up and powering from the bassist is insane. Actually, everything's insane. They're all doing a really good job with this. It's it's that it's definitely got the prog elements and it's definitely got the metalcore sound. Um, which you know, there's so many bands doing that, but these guys are doing it really, really well. So I get the hype on this. Uh, these are very talented talented musicians who don't take shortcuts and i think that's important to say because there's a lot of what they're doing that they didn't need to do but they wanted to and um if there were certain intricacies pulled out of this we would not even have known but um really glad they kept it the way it is Okay, um, uh, okay, I need to talk about the tone here because there is a lot of kind of distortion and fuzz on the traditional um, pieces of the songs, so the verse, the chorus, all of those. But there we went into that solo. I loved the lead tone on that. It was more of an overdrive. It wasn't very top heavy. It sounded like it was more high mids and mids than anything else. Uh, I liked that a lot. And his playing is remarkable. He's doing a lot of tapping, a lot of tapping. And to get the, the tone right for tapping to make sure that the you know the consistency and the volume not only from the technical side but also from the, the you know just the the actual care of that note uh you would hear a mistake a mile away it's awesome a uh, great solo loved it was almost a little um it was almost like a clean drive like a clean overdriven sound something you used to hear a lot in like blues when they went into these like slow lead solo pieces i like that a lot i don't know how many strings he's playing off looks like seven but i could be wrong um it, it, it's you great musicians yeah great Okay, hang on a second. Just need to say this for this piece. There's been a lot of syncopation. There's been a lot of, you can hear it in the kick. The kick's got a nice click to it. Um, 
there's a lot of syncopation. Okay, that's been taken out here. It's everything is on the beat, on the counts, and on the counts in between. There's no syncopation there, and they've kind of stripped that back to. It almost highlights the fact that there was. Um, and they, you know, that's that's. I think that's really smart songwriting. If you're trying to get a message across, sometimes the best way isn't to just overdo that piece. It's to underdo the next piece, and that kind of highlights um the the contrast. They're very cool. <laughs> Guitars Panda writes in my headphones. That really unsettling synth drone effect is cool. Get out of here. Come on. Listen to the speed of those kicks. Sounds like a machine gun, man. This guy's intense. And the control in it is really good because sometimes when, you, um, when you're when you trying to control the amounts of actual notes you're hitting just like that, where it's this kind of guitar matchup with the kick kick drum, it's quite difficult. Some, some drummers, um, less experienced drummers, struggle to uh, get those notes dead on with all the power and not have anything on either side. So quite often at the end, you'll find a, a, an extra note just added because of the spasm. But he's so in control of that. Damn. Mad. This is a There's that note there, that dun, that like kind of deep drone. It's it sounds like the whole note's not coming through, but just enough grit and dirt. It's actually more of the dirt behind that note than the tonal value. I like this. <laughs> Damn, what a song, man. What a song. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, there were a lot of pieces in there that are your traditional middle core sounds. There are a lot of um, um, signatures and trademarks in there that are very proggy. But the combination of them is what makes this fresh. I like that. I don't, I don't you know, I either hear one or the other. I, I've either heard a lot of like, you know, out and out prog bands and I've heard out and out metalcore bands to see them fuse it together that way the way they did there with a bit of their own flavor on top was really nice there was enough in there for me to kind of go yeah I'm sold I like that um 100% listen to more and I'm sure you know this is I think a fairly new song so um I'm 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 pretty sure they've got a decent back catalog to go through and if it's anything like this I'm I'm all on board for that so that was really fun let me know if you'd like to hear another one I'd love to know what you guys think and um yeah, it's just really fun discovering new bands, man. I love this. I love this whole YouTube thing. It's it's been a an absolute treat. We um, just to mention that Tank the Tech and I have a server together, a Discord server. And if you'd like to be a part of that, I will leave the link for that server in this video description. We're always on there chatting. Uh, we actually take requests on there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's been so nice to hop into the voice chat with you guys each day and check in and and, and make sure we're all happy and healthy in this crazy time. So uh, yeah, if that's your thing, we'd love to see you there. But until the next one, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day. Mm -hmm.